I wasn't necessarily not. submissive because I didn't follow your, you know, your guidelines, right? Where did okay. that get me? I'm asking you, you because you're the man that I was not so submissive with. Where did that get me? It got me feel. It got me feeling like, like it was not. I'm not gonna say I got me feeling like it was competition, but it got me feeling like, like you wanted to do your own thing, and you wasn't. You wasn't necessarily trusting of me, or letting me lead as a man. You wanted to lead as as yourself, and you wanted to move and on you how you wanted to move. Right. So as a man, what did you give me? So that I could be submissive. What what space, what comfort place did you give me as a, to be submissive? You didn't give me any place. It was just like, it is what it is. You ain't signing my sh It is what it is, right? Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when I finally became submissive, that's when I decided to get married. And the one time I became super submissive, it worked against me because obviously it wasn't the right person. So when it comes to like being the bad, oh yeah, this, that, and the third, I got that. Honestly, as a woman, that's just us just speaking the truth of our value of where we are in our life or where we see ourselves in a stance. You know what I'm saying? So necessary, it's not necessarily all my bad because you know what I'm saying? I want to look down to all the fellas. It's more or less, all I have is me. And this right here, I know is certain. This right here, I know is going to like be for certain. Sometimes I think what it is, is that men forget that women need a safe place. No matter how hard she is a bad, a man needs to give that space and provide that space where a woman could be vulnerable and submissive. This day and age, a lot of men aren't catering to making a woman feel comfortable enough to be submissive. So therefore, it's very hard. And that's why we have that block. Like even for you, when I was with you, it was like, oh, I'm Richie D. You're this, you're that. I created this, I created that. So all in all, I'm like, oh, so he has this. I need, I need my own this. You never provided me with a safe place. That's the one thing in our relationship, even though I'm gonna give you all the credit and I have, you believed in me before anybody else did, but you never gave me that vulnerability space where I could go to you and be like, this is my problem. This is how I feel today. This is what I'm going through. This is my trial and tribulations. Oh, guess what? My child's intuition. Like, how do I pull this shit out of a hat? Like, sometimes us as women, we, I wouldn't even say sometimes. All the time as women, we handle so much on a daily basis that is so hard to be vulnerable when we have so much to be responsible for. You know what I'm saying? There's no room to be submissive when a man don't give you that space. You need a space to be comfortable, to be vulnerable, to feel safe. Safe is the key word. You could be the baddest bitch. You could have the most money in the world. If you do not feel safe, there is no submission. And that's what it comes down to. Like, it don't matter who you are. If you see Carisha right now, you see how she be posted up next to Diddy? Like, they're like, Carissa's there next to Diddy. Like, and that's a city girl. You know why? Mr. Love gave her a safe place to stand and be there and be comfortable and feel safe. That's all we need is to feel safe. And honestly, because in this day and age, how we're raised, we're raised to go for it not care, be Lutheran, you know what I'm saying? Only mess with dudes that got money and this, that, and the third. But at the end of the day, all we want to do is feel safe. And and a lot of a lot of men real, don't realize that's what it takes. We just need a safe place. 
Because us women, we have children, we have family, we have our own problems. We have menstrual, we have this, we have that. Once we're provided a safe place, submission is not a problem. Being a bad bitch and setting that into a side is not a problem. So when can men step up to the plate and provide women with a safe place? Okay. So my, you, want, you ready for my, re, my rebuttal? Oh, I, I'm not because you got some smart shit to say, but I always <laughs> like your perspective. Men want to have someone and want to give a, 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 a soft landing place. I don't think that men don't want to give a soft landing place. Or you're give a liar, Rick. As soon as people come over to your house, you're ready to kick them out. Ain't no woman feeling comfortable in your safe place, Rick. Okay, hold on, hold on, Erica. He let you speak. He let you speak, so let him get his thought well, out. Because I know Mr. Dollars myself. <laughs> so I just want him to take accountability for his own shit. Because let me tell you, from a real frank perspective, even though me and Rich had our own thing, I really, truly believe Rich should be married and in love and with a wife. But because he has this problem of taking accountability, I feel like that's why he isn't married yet or has accountability you, accountability for what for like little things like you don't take accountability for how much you do wrong or what you're like or, or, or like how you don't take the initiative to make the other person feel a comfortable in your space that's also another thing a man will bring a woman into his world and think she's supposed to automatically be comfortable you have to cater to that. You have to make a woman feel like she belongs there. You understand what I'm saying? That helps. I feel like a lot of men complain about shit that they contribute to how they feel. Like, you can't expect a woman to come to your house and right away, as soon as you don't look at her, you're ready to kick her out. How comfortable can a bitch really get? <laughs> At the end of the day, what it comes to is that a woman just needs a safe place. And I know for me, when I finally gave that safe place and I became submissive, I got walked on. So my experience of being submissive hasn't been the most amazing, but do I say I'm never gonna be submissive again? No. But what I am gonna do is be cautious on who I'm submissive to because genuinely, I do wanna be submissive. I want a man to lead me. I want a man to nurture me. I want a man to like teach me. I want a man to feed, feed, feed my mind, feed my mind, pour into me, feed my soul. Because as women, we give so much on a daily basis. When I'm giving out, I need you to give me in. Like pour into me like a teacup. 